It changed my life. 13-year-old Maxwell Clausen says the Sailor Sea has a new grip on him. This pandemic really, really took, took me out a lot because I wasn't able to talk to my friends. He says his life changed because last summer he got a chance to see it from underwater inside the Edmonds Underwater Park. As soon as you get up to about that first buoy and drop down, it's like a whole new world just opens up. The ocean, it helped save us. Diver and filmmaker Annie Crawley helped Max take in what for most remains hidden underneath the surface of the water. The teen joined her summer scuba camp last July. Crawley says she and her students distanced and wore masks on land. Plus, being underwater meant coronavirus stayed out of their way. We need our kids out of the houses and off of their games and in nature. But a summer scuba camp has advantages over other camps that take place on dry land. We believe that we can um, operate safely um, in any phase. At Camp South, campers missed their 100 year anniversary, all due to the pandemic. The camp worries a rollback could mean missing yet another year. Two years in a row of closures honestly would close a lot of camps. Camp South says they have developed plans to maintain social distance and ensure students are tested before arrival. They hope the state allows them to operate this season no matter the phase. We're putting these layers of protection into place so that overall we're reducing the risk um, for kids and for our staff as well. Yeah, I hope to do this for the rest of my life. Maxwell says he signed up for scuba camp again this year. His instructor believes there are lessons at the bottom of the sea that can instill a sense of leadership and respect for the environment. Lessons vital for our youth, regardless how a virus dictates what happens on land. If we have to hunker down for six more months or for another year, this summer I'm still going to run scuba camps. I'm still going to teach the next generation to love and protect the sea. Now, the summer camps we talked to told us they have plans in place to ensure that their staff members are vaccinated, but they also tell us it's just too soon whether or not using the vaccine on younger people, how that might factor in to this year's operations. In Edmonds, Steve Kiggins, Q13 News.